All right, I'm going to try this again. That was like totally stupid. Okay. I'm closer to my Wi-Fi. Maybe that's what it was. I'm not sure. But I am going to go through and invite people again. Because I need to post this. Because it's been about, I'd say about six days since I have done a live video or any video for that matter. And the last time I did a video, I was talking about the Saturn moving in to the sign of Capricorn. I'm at Santa's um, cabin and it's snowy, but not too snowy. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. It's a little cold, but not too cold where I can't be out here with my electronics. So anyways, so I was talking about how this, this energy that's coming is going to be the energy um, for the next two and a half years. Okay. Cause Saturn won't be moving out of the sign of Capricorn until, um, March of 2020. So that being said last week, I talked about how Saturn would pretty much build and structurize and put into three dimensional reality, whatever our beliefs are, our thoughts are. Okay. So if you've ever noticed, and I, and we probably all have, um, this in common is where if we think about something, let's say if it's an old insecure fear or, or a a past thought that's reincarnating itself in your life, back in your life, that's kind of what, um, I experienced, but I had no idea it would be so like, so, hmm, so hard to deal with. Right. So what happens is it comes in and then it surprises us and then we react on it. Right. So if you have a thought and then let's say, let's say about someone, then you start treating them as though that thought is true, even if it's not, because it's only based on your fear or your perception of someone. Right. And it's kind of like the same thing if you've ever noticed um, before you meet someone, let's say you go to a party and before you meet someone, someone's like, oh, and just be careful for that girl. She's a fucking bitch or whatever. And then you enter, you get introduced and that is your perception of this person. And you're going to see more of that. Um, and it might not even be true. Um, maybe it's only true for that person, right? So we make these judgments upon people. Um, based on our thoughts or our perceptions of that person. So that's like just one example of mm, thoughts or um, fears or um, as well as positive things uh, that actually can um, materialize in the three-dimensional reality. So that's why we're always supposed to be very mindful of our thoughts. That's why, you know, in a lot of in a lot of spirituality movements or religions, they say, be careful, um, you know, what you think and what you see and what you hear and like, just really like focus on, uh, the positive and the things that you want to see in your life because those will manifest. So pretty much Saturn is the planet of karma. Okay. And karma being a good and a bad thing, it could be either. Right. So if you, um, take a seed and you plant it in a very fertile soil, it's going to grow, right? It's going to grow a beautiful tree or a plant. Hi, Xiao Xiao. Hi, Eric. Um, I love you guys. (laughs) Hey, Erin. If you guys just joined, I was just talking about the energy and how Saturn is the planet of structure and karma. And, and how if you dig, let's say if you plant a seed in fertile soil, it will probably produce some pretty good fruit, right? 
And then if you plant in not so good a fo uh, soil, you won't get like, you know, an awesome tree that's bearing m much fruit. So it's kind of the same thing. Um, that's how like Saturn acts. And that's another reason why I think they say what goes around comes around or what you reap is what you sow. Car Saturn is that planet that takes care of that business. So karma is, and Saturn, both are the structure, right? It's the structure of the three-dimensional reality. It says, because the ruler of Saturn is Capricorn, because it's home right now. Capricorn is the goat that wants to climb to the top of the mountain. It wants to, it wants to get, you know, it, it wants to work for what it wants, right? And that's with, that's with a lot. Let's say like Saturn is in my sixth house and I'm a very hard worker. I know that if I want to build a new business, I'm going to have to take those, those steps to get there. And it could be, I could be building for five years and still not be getting the benefits that, that I want to see, but I know eventually I'll get it. So I have to keep, keep at it and keep working at it. Um, you can have Capricorn in another aspect of your chart. Okay. Maybe if you're, let's say your, your Venus is in Capricorn, you're, you're more about, you know, working, maybe not as much as like the emotional aspects, but you like to, you like to work and, and through time you'll become more open. So with Saturn being home in Capricorn, it's kind of that immediate, like, like we're all going to get really serious with, with our lives. We're going to get more like active and proactive in our lives. It's kind of like taking your power back, which is really great. But because, because of the, the crucial degrees that it's at, it's actually tomorrow. Saturn will be conjunct Venus. So, and they'll both be at the crucial degrees of zero. So what that means is there's going to be a lot of, mm, I would say the energy that's there is about relationships um, because Venus is that um, it rules the beauty. It rules partnership. Libra, you know, is a ruler of um, Venus as well. And it's the balance, right, between the light and the dark and partnerships. And every relationship and partnerships has their their balance, right? You have to, it's like walking on this tight rope or this, like a fence, right? Here's a fence and you're just like walking on it. And that's why they say that there's a fine line between love and hate. That's the Libra aspect between light and dark. And with, with Saturn, let me see. Yeah, Saturn here, I'll show you on the chart if you could see. So here's, here's Saturn and here's Venus. It's at zero degrees tomorrow. Okay. And then here's the sun at four. So it's conjuncting Venus and black moon Lilith is conjunct right there. And she's more, you know, the uh, freedom seeker, right? So we have like this aspect of like this darker and this lighter, but then you have Saturn there that's materializing it. Um, it's also in a sextile with Juno, which is the, the planet of marriage, right? So there is a lot to have to do with relationships. You also have, we also have the moon and Chiron in a conjunction in Pisces, which is more of that, that watery, like emotional and feeling for other people, right? Maybe, maybe you're, you're, your feelings will start becoming more, um, uh, hmm, like, like more like, uh, sensitive to other people. Right. So, and, and, and in that it can heal a lot of maybe some of the, the arguments or the disagreements or the heavy emotion that we have been feeling in our partnerships or relationships with other Okay, because of this, this, this new energy that's come in, there's a lot of, um, uh, like, uh, 
there's a lot of uh, like darker energy um, that comes in to test it. And so we just have to realize that these thoughts no longer serve our higher power or our higher purpose or our higher self, as well as um, these, these fears. And they're all really come from probably childhood or past, um, experiences, which they're all great, but not every, every situation, every person deserves to be, um, misinterpreted. Okay. Or the perception, um, being so harsh or not accurate, because if we hold on to these thoughts and these fears that no longer serve our higher purpose or our relationships that we want to see, you know, evolve and change in our lives, then we're going to continue repeating the cycle over and over again. So I just wanted to bring that to light as far as like tomorrow's Christmas energy is like the, the conjunction between Venus and Saturn. Um, you know, I don't know about you guys and how you've been getting along with others. Um, but Mercury actually just started going direct, um, yesterday. So, or no, that was on Friday and I had dropped my phone and broke my, my glass screen. So I'm talking with this cracked screen on the bottom and I was actually walking in the grocery store and I was not paying attention and I almost slipped and fell on, on, um, liquid laundry detergent. And like, I was like, what the heck? I did not even see that. Like, how did I not see that? It was just like spilled all over the place, but I was busy looking around on the shelves for other things. So that's just another like <coughs> example of, of how the energy is. It's just like, sometimes we're just unexpectedly coming across like certain, you know, thoughts, um, that, you know, or certain things are coming to light that we didn't expect. I mean, there's going to be a lot of things revealed into the physical. If there have been people that have not been truthful or honest, or they haven't been, if they've been doing shady stuff, you'll probably even see it in the politics where people, <coughs> Um, darkness and lies and stuff will be coming to the surface. Um, and you know, all of like the beginning of this last month, people's higher selves were speaking. So you didn't really have to like, you didn't really have to, I don't know. They didn't really have to say it straightforward. You know, there's roundabout ways of that people could speak without actually saying what they want to say. But usually your higher selves will be tattling on you. You just have to look for it and hear it from others. Um, what else? Um, oh, okay. So on the 1st of January, there will be, a, uh, I believe, the full moon. Is it a full moon in Cancer? And I'll be talking about that probably on my next video. But how are you guys doing, whoever's still in the house? Do you guys have any questions or anything like that? Ooh, the wind's kicking up. Scary. But, um, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful out here, though. Look at these little mini trees. Mini trees. So you see that? That's a barn door. And then this door. That's just strapped there, you know? Yeah, there's some doors that look like there might be something good on the other side, but sometimes there's just nothing there, see? So you have to be careful with what with what doors that you're walking through or maybe you have a couple doors to choose. You're like I could choose this one or this one, and sometimes there's not much on the other side, so you have to use your discernment. All right, guys, I think that is it, and I hope that helps, and I hope you guys have a merry, 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 merry Christmas, merry, merry Christmas. All right, guys, Whew, the air is thin. I love you all. Mwah.